I'm currently on a month-long journey through Southeast Asia with my best mate. We've now touched down in Hong Kong. We had a great time in Hong Kong and now we've arrived in the land of smiles, Thailand. Ah. We touched down in Bangkok a few days ago and this is a city known for its amazing food that you can find absolutely everywhere. So this is like wonton strips. Oh yeah, yeah. And it had like um, pork mints. Nice. A whole bunch of spices and coriander. Oh, nice. But after a long day of remote working, I decided to try good old McDonald's in Thailand for the very first time to see how different the special menu is here to back home in New Zealand. All right, the sun has gone down, all the work's out the way, and I'm feeling a bit hungry. But today I'm going to try something a bit different. Today I'm going to be trying McDonald's for the first time in Thailand. I don't eat it much, but I wanted to see because there's a special menu that you've got here, and it comes with stuff that you'd never get anywhere else. So I only stuck to the special menu, and we're going to try out something a little bit different. I know there's heaps of Thai food around here, I love it. But I thought I'd give you guys a look at the local McDonald's here in Bangkok, and just to see what they've got on the menu. And they do have some very interesting things. Make sure you stick around to the end because the last item I've never seen before. I don't know if it's going to be nasty or if it's going to be good, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's try it out. Now, one thing that I've noticed straight away is that you get these, man, which is fried chicken hot sauce. So we're going to have to give that a go as well. The first thing we've got is a Thai dish. It's basically pad krapao or pad kaprao, which is a dish I've tried in the past, but never from McDonald's. And these things here, these look like little chicken nugget thingies. We've got some rice as well. Oh, the rice isn't bad. I thought it'd be clumped together. It's not too bad. But anyway, we're gonna chuck this straight on our rice. There's some chilies in there, you can see it. Looks all right, looks all right. I'm gonna mix that up, get that sauce on there. And for some extra spice, I might regret this later, we're gonna try this fried chicken hot sauce. Maybe, maybe just a little bit over there on the side. It smells good. Like I'm not expecting this to be amazing or anything like that. Obviously there's much better pad kaprao on the street right across the road from here actually is a really good spot. So interesting though, let's give it a go. All right, so we got our pad kaprao or pad kaprao. Got a chicken, oh man, I don't know what's in it. There's chili. Oh, it smells spicy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Alright man, there's a little bit of heat coming through from that chili. I gotta try some of this spicy chicken, fried chicken hot sauce. I'll just, I'll just try it with the rice. Yeah, it's not too spicy. It's pretty mild actually for Thailand. But there's a bit of kick, a little bit of kick in the pack. Kapow. These little, these little chicken ball things are like little chicken nuggets. So they definitely got that McDonald's, you know, chicken nugget taste to it, but it's not bad, man, it's not bad. That is not a bad dish. For McDonald's. All right, that's pretty good, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not mad at that one. That one's all right. All right, and next we have got, <laughs> dang, some fried chicken. So I got two pieces of spicy and two pieces of original, just to try the difference. Fried chicken from McDonald's. I've never had fried chicken from McDonald's. Everyone loves KFC back home, obviously, but let's give this a go. So let's start with the original first. Have a look at that. We've got a drumstick here. Oh, and that's nice and crispy. Look at that. That's not bad at all. And then we've got the spicy version. Man, these ain't small pieces of chicken either. These are pretty decent. Looks pretty good. Let's give it a go. All right, we got our fried chicken, man. Let's give this a go. So we got our drumstick here. Is it gonna be better than KFC? Who knows? Mmm. Mmm. 
I'll tell you what, Mark. That chicken is nice and juicy. Good crunch on that batter. Right. That's a good piece of chicken. I'm not mad at that either. Now, let's grab a piece of this spicy chicken. Oh, look, look at this. Big chunk of batter. Mmm. Okay, that one's a bit dry. Um, definitely not as juicy as the last one, but the spice also is, it's okay, but it's its not up there, man. It's pretty mild, to be honest. Maybe that's just a Western palate thingy, but what I'm gonna do, we're gonna take our fried chicken hot sauce, and we're gonna put it on there. I want to try that. Definitely better with the sauce on it. Definitely try that. Could be spicy, I mean. Could be spicy. I thought for Thailand, it's kind of light, but man, good fried chicken. Like, very good. You got to try this, man. Just give it a go once, man, if you're feeling lazy like I am tonight. All right, on to the next one. Now this may look like a quarter pound of a cheese box because it is, but you see that T there? This is actually a beef truffle burger. Now, if we open that up, you can see the truffle sauce on there. It basically looks like a quarter pounder with truffle sauce on it. You can see the sauce there. Let's just spread that around a little bit more, mate. Whack that on there. Got two pieces of cheese, got a bit of beef, and you got that truffle sauce, so. All right, let's give this truffle beef burger a go. Definitely tastes like a McDonald's burger, like a mini Big Mac, but instead of the secret sauce, there's truffle sauce on there. The truffle sauce is nice, man. It's not bad at all. It's not a giant burger by any means, but it's decent, nice cheese, it's okay. Not bad, man. Not bad. It's all right. I'd, I'd eat that for sure. Can't really expect too much from takeaway food, but it's what it is. All right, we're on to our last two items now. You got to check this bad boy out. Now I'm pretty excited about this one, man. This is a ham and cheese pie. So back home we used to get apricot, but not anymore. But we only get apple pretty much. But I've never seen a ham and cheese before, so savory option. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's, that's not really for me, man. The cheese wasn't gooey and melted. It's kind of like clumpy. Nah, I'll pass on that. You're better off going to 7-Eleven and grabbing it bacon and cheese toasty or a ham and cheese toasty from down there. All right, last but not least, the piece de resistance. Another pie, this is a pineapple pie. Look at that. So I've never seen these before, never tried this before. I'm hoping it's gonna be better than that, <laughs> that ham and cheese, because that ham and cheese wasn't very nice, but let's give it a go. Basic, same outside. Mmm. That's not bad. Nice sweet pineapple. And you got the savory sort of crust on the outside. Similar, very similar to uh, the apple pie, but very good pineapple flavor. Oh, sh Anyway. Not bad at all, you know? All right, fam, and that's all we've got for tonight, basically. I just wanted to try something a bit different that you can't get back home. 
but you're still familiar with the brand. Pretty much delivered what you'd expect from McDonald's. You know, it probably tastes good now, and then an hour later, your stomach's gonna be like, Meh. shouldn't have ate that, bro. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. If you wanna see more, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.